Elf Lab, another day of Christmas. Marty, do you know what we're doing? I do not. <laughs> it is six geese a laying. Six geese. Six geese. So, uh, what, uh, what, what goose variety do you think I picked? Uh, Canadian gooses. You are correct. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Marty, where do they live? <laughs> um, well, uh, Minnesota. <laughs> and Canada. Yep. Your border so it has to be like okay. that. <laughs> okay, well, Canadian geese live in the Arctic and temperate regions of North America. So they, they basically just all, <laughs> all that. Canadian geese have definitely uh, taken over. Uh, during migration, they will also end up in uh, parts of Europe. Really? Mm -hmm. They were introduced to the United Kingdom, Ireland, New Zealand, got some Argentina, <laughs> Chile, and the Falkland Islands. So they are like everywhere. They are like okay. everywhere, except for over here. There's so much anger all over the place. So much. Description. It is a wild goose species with a black head white cheeks, a white chin strap, black neck, and a brown body. They have black little feet too. They do have black little feet. They are webbed for the swimming, not for the tickling. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how long do you think they are? Oh God, it's been, I don't know. I've never been close enough to a goose to measure. They're so mean. Um, I don't know if it's like measuring this two, way like, or if it's measuring this way. Uh, I bet you, I don't know, like two and a half feet? Two and a half feet? Two, roughly. Okay, well, they are 30 to 43 inches. Okay. A wingspan. Do you want to guess that or you just want to know it? 60 inches. 60 inches? Mm -hmm. Very close. 50 to 73 okay. inches. Right there. And how much do you think they weigh? Oh, here's that bird math. Um, uh, four to six pounds. They weigh 5.7 to 14.3 <laughs> pounds. Oof. They are hefty. Yeah, they're some hefty words. So that being said, there's a couple varieties of Canada goose. Okay. Just toss that out there. Okay. There's a couple of varieties. Uh, they're territorial with a mm -hmm. terribly aggressive behavior. Mm-hmm. They are mad AF. Mad at everything, everybody, just hey, cranky. mad birds. Angry feathered dinosaurs. Diet! What do you think? What, what, are you, what are you feeling? I mean, I don't really see them uh, bread. Uh, I know they eat bread. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm gonna point out an obvious one in this image here. Grass, uh, uh, foliage and whatnot. Uh, Seeds and all that. Uh, what is that? Grass and stuff. Grass and stuff. Oh, okay. Um, and then small insects like uh, like uh, like just like crickets and grasshoppers and what whatnot. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. So they're mainly herbivores, but they will eat insects and fish. Oh yes. So all the stuff. Little, uh, little this fishies. particularly because of people. <laughs> You mean they're not just baking their own bread and eating it? Uh, it didn't say so, but I mean, like, he looks like he could have one of those fancy chef hats. Okay. And yeah. Oh, name. God. Is that for catching fish with? Yep. Mm. Now, butcher knife is for filleting fish. Okay. Yeah, heard it here first. So they prefer to eat in urban areas in the open, such as parks and lawns, to avoid potential predation. So they like eating grass. The only problem is they eat it so low to the ground mm -hmm. that it kills a lot of people's grass and they don't like them. Yeah. But they're doing it so they don't get preyed upon. So it's a... I get that. It's but... a survival thing. Humans have created an issue by feeding them, turning them into pesty beggars. <laughs> Perfect. Angry beggars. <laughs> Just what we need. So I'm going to tell a story. So Laura and I went to feed geese once. Laura took me goose feeding. And we were 
horrified that this giant goose was following us down a dock. And then I don't remember, we either got off the dock or it left or something. And then there was this, I'm guessing it was grandmother, a Hispanic grandmother and a bunch of little kids off to the side on like this concrete thing and water sometimes mm -hmm. spilled over it. And there were a bunch of geese around and they were feeding the geese and this one goose was just getting up in grandma's <laughs> face and she just looked at it and just whack right in the goose's head and the goose just went and walked away to the end of the goose line. It was amazing. I've never seen anything like it. I will never forget it. And now neither will you. <laughs> it was awesome. Grandma ain't taking any crap. No, she just, just smacked a just goose smacked right in the head. Goose. Jesus just smacked Christ. it. Oh. <laughs> Predators. Predators. Grandma. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, other people. <laughs> other people. Um, I think they're too big for any of the fish in the lakes. I think. So not fish, okay. Not fish. Um, the the usual mammal suspects: uh, cats, dogs, larger cats and dogs. Bears? I'm just gonna go wild on this one. I'm gonna say orcas. Orcas, okay. Mm hmm. Yeah. That's it? Yep. Okay, so for goslings, we've got some coyotes. We've got Arctic foxes. We've got raccoons. Raccoons? Raccoons. Huh. Guess These are the goslings. The, guess I never thought of the. Oh well, yeah, but still, I guess I never really thought of raccoons as like... Red foxes. <laughs> so dogs do not like geese. Large gulls. Oh yeah. Ravens. Uh, and that's both in the UK and the US. Mm -hmm. We just call ours ravens. I think they call them corvid raisin, raisins? Corvid raisins, meat eating raisins. <laughs> corvid ravens okay. in the UK. Uh, crows, brown, and black bears. Okay. Uh, so for adults, also coyotes, gray wolves, snowy owls. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Even golden eagles. Oh, I guess so. Falcons, the peregrine falcon. Mm hmm. Oh, I always spelled that right, but we're going to go with it. <laughs> Uh, whatever a gear falcon is. And rarely great horn goggles. Huh, I guess I just, I thought they were bigger than that. I mean, they are, but those other birds are also uh, huge. Also really. Also. Yeah, I, I totally forgot that those ones were so much bigger. So, okay. They're able to survive in human populations, urban mm -hmm. areas, rural areas, uh, and it uses it as an advantage to stay away from these things. Ah, uh, okay. And humans um, hunting and uh, getting rid of what they find to be a pest. Yeah. And grandma punching them. <laughs> and the punching grandma. And the punching grandma. Breeding! Canadian breeze breed in Canada. Canadian, Canadian breeze? Yes, Canadian. <laughs> Breed in Canada and in the northern United States, especially in the Great Lakes area. Oh, yeah. We live in the Great Lakes area. So many. Candidates. So many. When they are two years old, the geese find a mate. They're monogamous and most couples will stay together all their lives. If Aww. one dies, the other may find a new mate. Clutch size, how many eggies do you think they make? Mm, say four to six. Four to six? Yeah. Two to nine, with oh, five geez. being the average. Nine eggs, that's a whole bunch. So many eggs. Incubation is 24 to 32 days. I honestly thought you were gonna say hours. <laughs> Hatch real quick. Hatch real quick. The adults molt and lose their flying feathers. Uh, for, I put 40 to 40 days, but I think it's 20 to 40 days 
and regain flight at about the same time, goslings start to fly. Okay. Oh, so they're kind of stuck on the ground for a while? Mm-hmm. Huh. Which is also why they're so aggressive, because they can't get away, so they have to scare you. Oh. Makes sense? That, but, okay, yeah, that does make sense now. Although I'm gonna have to just take out the grandma from now on, just give him a good old. Give him a good old punch? <laughs> punch him in the head. Don't go punching wildlife. <laughs> I mean, if it wants to try and eat my finger. Status. What do you think the status is? At least concern. There's millions of them. Well, you're right. Okay. So the giant Canadian <laughs> goose. Or the, the giant? giant? <laughs> yeah. Okay. The giant Canada goose subspecies was believed to be extinct in 1950. In, the, in 1962, a small population was discovered wintering where? Minnesota? Yes, Rochester, go, Minnesota. Go, go figure. <laughs> <laughs> They're everywhere. After breeding and conservation efforts, using 64 breeding pairs of giant Canada geese, there were more than 6,000 <laughs> by 1981. Yeah, I don't think we gotta worry about these. <laughs> so many. So many. In 2000, the North American population was estimated at four to five million. Is that all? Yep. <laughs> That's just North America. Oh my god. It's not including Canada. <laughs> New <UK> Zealand. <laughs> or New Zealand. Lore. Oh. Are you ready? I guess so. <laughs> Big Goose. Big Goose, also known as, I'm assuming it's a Benisi. Oops, spelled it wrong already. Benisi, in the oral tradition of the Ojibwe peoples, is a cryptid that is said to live in the old growth forest of the Pacific Northwest of North America. How big is Big Goose? We'll get there. We okay. Get yes. Oh boy, okay. Big Goose is said to be extremely aggressive and short tempered. <laughs> so Big Goose started over in the Great Lakes mm -hmm. and moved this way into the Pacific Northwest. Okay. So, used to be over here with Lake Superior. Lake so are we Superior. to assume that it was too large for the lakes? No. Okay. Similar in appearance to the Canada goose, it's said to have large black beady eyes that may glow mm. when the creature is agitated, excited, or startled. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> All right, Marty, how tall do you think the goose is? Oh, I'm just gonna go on a limb. Um, 80 to 100 feet. It is 10 to 30 feet. Oh. Still okay. big goose. I mean, yeah. Wingspan. Oh, I'd have to assume 60 feet then. Ish, 60 ish feet. 15 to 50 feet. Okay. And weight. 100, 100 pounds. In excess of 1,000 pounds. 1, Means 1,000 pounds or more. Oh boy. Some claim Big Goose to be venomous. <laughs> the earliest recorded written history of Big Goose is from the 15th century by French voyageurs after hearing stories from the Ojibwe of current day Ontario near Lake Superior. Okay. It is speculated that over time, Big Goose migrated towards the west away from the Great Lakes. I mean, uh, did you think there was gonna be such amazing lore I, about the Canada goose? I didn't think we had to worry about, you know, big goose. Could you imagine just being in the the old woods? And then just big goose, and just big goose <laughs> just comes out screaming at you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they hiss too, don't they? Hissing and screaming, yeah. just so loud. It is so loud. All right, in the 18th century, our good friend. Oh God, uh, the Linny. Uh, Linny, right? Yeah. Linnae? I'm trying spelling this right. Carl Linnaeus described the Canadian goose in Systema Natura as the same dude who described the turtle dove and Feveral chicken. So you're right. You okay. made another appearance. What did I? Oh. There he is. Just His new favorite look, guy. Looking at all those birds. Mm -hmm. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, the first citation of Canada Goose dates back to? Uh, 1200, 1700s? Okay. 1772. All right. Collective nouns for a group of geese can be flock. 
Can I guess one? Yes. An anger. No. Okay. A chevron. A chevron. Oh, okay, that makes sense. And a string. String. Mm. Yeah. All right, now that you've learned about the Canada goose mm -hmm. and big goose. And big goose. What do you think? Give me some I, thoughts. I hope I never run into big goose. I hope I don't run into Cause big goose. Because I don't right even think grandma could take on big goose. I think she would try. <laughs> she would try. <laughs> you did not see the determination in that woman's face. Big goose was she had not no, taking her babies. <laughs> she had no fear. That woman had no fear. Um, and uh, yeah, they're can Canada gooses. Mm -hmm. I've been terrified of them my whole life because they are just, they're so mean. The way it should be. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Join us again tomorrow for the next day of Christmas. I haven't heard the song in a year. I, uh, <laughs> I can't oh. remember it. It's uh, Swans of Swimming. Oh, okay. All right. So join us for Swans. I'll bet you Linnaeus is going to be there. Bye. Bye.